Um, so. He definitely made a deal with the devil at some something. point. Something. Something. Uh, because yeah. he always lucks out on everything. Yeah. He has I mean, the just best the... enemies. Look at Michael Avenatti. Look at Fonnie Willis now in Georgia. The right. best enemies. Right. Just, it helps him so much. And Merrick Garland f***ed it all up. <laughs> He's dithered for, th now we're probably not even going to see any of the trials. He just always lucks his way into everything. That's Bill Maher and the Legion of Dumb mystified by Trump's success. Because after all, when you're as smug as they are, it's easier to say that your opponent is lucky than to admit that you're wrong. Welcome to Nurk News, I'm Nurkish, and boy oh boy can things change in a few days. Not only did a New York appeals court dramatically lower the amount of cash Trump needs to get a bond, but his net worth has reportedly jumped to 6.5 billion after his Truth Social merger, making him in the top 500 wealthiest people in the world. With all of that being said, Here's a bunch of losers who think they know better than everyone coping about how unfair it is that good things happen to people they don't like. Fifth Avenue, what are your thoughts on Trump saying that he has 500 million in cash on hand despite... <laughs> <laughs> he is something. Despite, <laughs> despite his lawyers claiming that he couldn't post his $454 million bond. Yes, he wants you to know he has the money. Mm. He just won't the give drawer. you the money because it's not fair. It's just <laughs> not fair. Fair. Being Trump's lawyers is the worst job in the country. <laughs> Why do we do it? Glory, glory. No, he actually, actually just got a. He, this guy is the luckiest guy in the world. But Trump Social, uh, I mean, excuse me, Trump Social. It's, it's Trump Social, but True Social just got permission to go public. Right. And I mean, and so he's he's it's his stake because it's a meme stock, a little like GameStop. Um, is worth 3.5 billion. Is worth 3.5 billion dollars right now, and it could go higher if people bid it up. I like how that one woman pointed out the obvious, but everyone at the table is too stupid to understand the broader implication. She's right. Trump does have the worst enemies, but it doesn't just stop at Fonnie Willis and Letitia James. It also extends to the people at that table. They all have Trump derangement syndrome. They're all overconfident morons motivated by blind hatred. I mean, just look at them. You've got Butthead O'Rourke, who's lost three races in four years, Bill Maher, who still pushes the Russia hoax and thinks that Biden is some political genius behind closed doors, and let's not forget Kara Swisher, who thinks meritocracy is problematic, was called a useful puppet by John Fetterman's special assistant, and has brilliant takes like this. Greatest asset, the shamelessness of him, is then, Bi then Biden has to get in there very hard and go rapist, racist, fascist, over and over and over again. And then the trials are happening at the same time. He's just had to pay, he's just $93 million right. poor right now, and just hammer it in with those three things, rapist, uh, racist, fascist. But here's the thing. Thank voters, you. That's my, that's voter, my voters. Brilliant, Kara, just genius. So to clarify, your advice to Biden in 2024 is to do the same exact thing liberals have been doing forever. Okay. And to clarify, those are the three things you really want Biden to hammer home. Well, since you're so confident, creepy Uncle Joe must have a peachy clean record on all those issues, right? There's nothing weird that might come up from women in his past. No allegations that were swept under the rug. Nothing creepy or off-putting that he does with women and young girls. And also, he hasn't said or done anything that might be viewed as offensive or insensitive to minorities, right? What, what am I saying? Of course not. He was the VP to Obama. Could you imagine if he had a record of saying or doing anything like that? That'd be crazy. I mean, seriously, what is this lady even talking about? How high do you have to be on your own farts to say something like that with confidence? These people are delusional and it's going to cost them the election. But let me know what you think. Is Trump the luckiest man in the world or is there more to it? Let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nurk News. Thanks for watching. Bye!